hopefully we're getting to 15, 20 minutes. I appreciate you sticking with me. Again, it's Sean Lee, Nebraska Realty, and some of the things I want to talk about, I will as soon as I introduce my friend and colleague. Go ahead. Adrian. I'm Adrian Enzastica with American Family Insurance. Thanks for having me back, Sean. It's great to be here. Yeah, we had a good time the first time we drank that whiskey uh, from we, Brickway. It was good. That was really good. Smooth. Very, very smooth. And since then, I've had a, quite a few other drinks. And um, just <laughs> just so you know, this you were the the first initial show, right? You were the first initial one. We did it, and a lot of people said they liked it. I guess and, I'm, and I'm flattered that you, you thought of me first. I thought you. of you first because uh, people said it just seemed like real natural. Yeah. And we we have those, you know, scripts. That We've got some natural banter. We have over, natural banter. Over That's the last right. 25 years, four years. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I ran you over with the van if you've, if you've paid attention. But if you've been watching. If you've been watching. I, I did run them over with a van. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, we've been doing real good. Um I appreciate it if you if you'd hit the subscribe button and share this with all your friends, your family, and just listen. I mean, again, this Omaha Sips and Tips is really about hey, talking with local business owners, you know, just people in the community, and we're having sips from a lot of local places. Uh, sometimes um, it might be not be too local, but um, we're having sips to promote what we have here at Omaha. This is this is a great place. We've got great food. We've got great sips. And uh, we've got a lot of things uh, for all those people coming to Omaha, Nebraska. And um, just want to say thanks. And we'd love to have any comments. Leave any comments that you want. Hopefully they're constructive, like I said. Uh, I try to say that every time I do this show. So uh, constructive comments, we'd love to have them. Again, thanks a lot. Um, so let's just get started. We'll, we'll, Adrian, how's things going since the last time? It's been over a month, at least since I... Things are really busy uh, in American Family. I think people awoke from their winter slumber, so to speak. March hit, and uh, folks decided they had a lot of insurance questions and a lot of insurance insurance needs. Everybody loves freaking insurance, don't they? Well, I, I did forget to mention that we, um, we're going to drink a little sip today. Lucky Bucket. Lucky Bucket Brewing. This is located here in Omaha, Nebraska. So if you're moving here or you're already here and you're like, hey, I, I need to check some of these things out. This is this is what we're going to have. This is pre-prohibition lager. Have you, have you ever had it? I've never had. I've had Lucky Bucket, I've, but I've never had pre-prohibition. Oh, so you've had, because you're a pale ale guy, aren't Lucky, you? Yeah, Lucky Bucket sponsored a few of the trail races I've run. So okay. yeah, they've, they've always been a good sponsor and they've always... Uh, uh, had, had some terrific beer there at the races. Now, just so you know, if you're just watching this, um, w we have been recording, and we actually had to pause this, right, so that we could find this um, from a, from one of the young kids here at the, the studio so that we could actually open these beer bottles. And I'm going to do that right now. And, and uh, what are some of those races you're doing? Uh, yeah. Well, I was supposed to I was supposed to be running the Nebraska Trail Run here next month, but that recently was canceled, unfortunately. So I'll be uh, training. Reason? I got to find something find something else to train for. You got You got any ideas? If you got any ideas out there, uh, uh, hit me up. Hit, post them in the comments. Post them in the comments. If you want this guy to run a mud run or uh, forty two miles, let's keep it under ten miles right now. My body's okay. still getting back to back. You're to basically distance. saying you're you're working on. I'm working on it. I'm gonna put this kid's keys in uh in here and uh we're gonna pour this this golden stuff in here while we talk i mean again this is lucky bucket check this out oh what an it this a lager pre 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 prohibition let me tell you i did some research um and again this isn't a paid sponsorship we just want to we just want to promote the community uh distilleries and breweries um and, and places and businesses we got here even food um says the loop I got these glasses made I think uh, you may have seen that I have uh, you know I have uh, whiskey and glasses too that I had made all right I'm right I'm anxious to try those maybe get some maybe get some ice balls with your face on it well we might get that going <laughs> yeah yeah well tell me what's new in the insurance industry I know that it's it's been busy and um, you know we're in this re you know, inflationary period or people 
shopping around, right? Yeah. I mean, well, we talked a, a lot about that last time on, I was on here about the mm -hmm. home rates increasing across the board in Nebraska and, and uh, um, some things on the horizon with American Family it actually is on life insurance side of things. Okay, yeah, let's talk uh, about American that. American Family realized during the pandemic there was a huge need for some no exam life insurance products. So they have uh, revamped some underwriting and they're un unveiling those here next week. So I'm pretty okay. anxious about that. We do a lot of mortgage protection, life insurance in my agency, as well as some uh, whole life plans. But this, this plan is a term plan and it will be uh, really useful when you want to protect your mortgage uh, and protect your family's future. And what, what would normally people – life insurance, mortgage protection, so there's two separate policies you got. Well, you're talking about? well, we 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 label it as mortgage protection, but it's life insurance based on the amount you owe on your mortgage. So oh, if your I got you. And you owe both owe you owe three hundred thousand on your mortgage. If one of you were to pass away, do you know how you're going to pay for that? Pay for that. Got it. Uh, yeah. And you're dealing with the trauma of losing a spouse or a loved one. You don't want to have to worry now. How am I going to pay my bills for the next year while you you know kind of regroup? So uh, if you have a plan in place, minimum I recommend, like I said, is to protect your mortgage. You can pay off your house and put that at, uh, put yourself at peace of mind that the house is all paid off while you get yourself regrouped and uh, move on with your life. Okay, well, that's coming up in the, the near future. Again, people can always give week. you a call yeah. and chit-chat to you. I mean, you, to, you're you pretty busy because you're taking calls all the time, right? You are accessible. Uh, you know, it's one of the things I've been promoting when I'm talking to people in here is that you're just an accessible fella. Well, you just you're gonna be available. It's amazing how you lead into these things, Sean, because our agency <laughs> was awarded the American Star Customer Service Is Award that right? recently. Okay. And so I appreciate that. Like uh, clients are the ones that actually awarded us that award by uh, voting and turning in their surveys. So we have to reach a certain level on average to make that award, and we're, we're happy to say we uh, we reached that level for the second consecutive year. Holy smokes! Okay. Well, I led you right into it. Yeah. You, it, and we didn't uh, even practice time. that. American Family, we didn't even do it. But we try not to – I try not to script anything. I just want to go. Yeah. You yeah. know, I just give you an idea, and that's why I invited you to uh, fill in today. I also like hanging out with you. It's pretty much all unscripted. <laughs> well, that, I appreciate that. Let's, we're not going to do anything crazy. Nothing crazy today. Uh-uh. You know, one of the things I got a, I got a little bit for you, just as far as Omaha, because – as far as real estate goes, and normally I don't talk about real estate, but I, th I thought, you know, going into the new year, there's a lot of panic and people are concerned about, you know, houses right. and, um, you know, market crash, right? Uh, I want to, and I'm going to show this, you know, on the screen, but l let me ask you a question. How many homes do you think we have available under 300,000? As of today, this mid-March. Just in Omaha area? Just Omaha, Douglas, Sarpy County. Let's let's do that. Which is Omaha, Ralston. Three hundred twenty-five. No. Is it higher or lower? Uh, lower. Lower. Um, Two sixteen. One hundred and twenty-six. Wow. Houses, Douglas and Sarpy County. One hundred twenty-six. Uh, Does that count new construction? That's. Under the price of three hundred, you can't. Oh, okay. I, you can't even find a new home here in Omaha gotcha. for under three hundred thousand. Under three hundred thousand, yeah. yeah, under three hundred thousand, folks. That's incredible. I just, I just took a look, um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of talk about this when I put it up. But we ten years ago we had, you know, fourteen hundred, you know, five thousand houses in the market. Five years ago we had fourteen hundred. Uh, and in February 2023, under 210, 221 houses, and now total 64 under 210,000. Wow. 64 houses, which is crazy because I have four people under 250 looking for houses out there. So, uh, you know, that's crazy. Take a look. at This is a, you know, up and down chart of the amount of homes that we have. And I'll... Yeah, so I'm actually going to flash it up, but... We could probably get off on a whole other... Yeah, we could. minutes discussion on why that is... <clears throat> I'll tell you why. You okay. know why? You, well, you do home you do homeowners insurance. Do people stay in their homes way longer than they used to? Yeah. Uh, I think when I first got it, like eight years ago, people were staying in their homes eight years. We, they're up to, you know, eleven, twelve. I think is the national average. Um, and I sit with um, Justin. With, you, you know Justin, but yeah. 
you know, we're part of the problem. I, I've been in my house for since 05, what is that, 17, 18 years. He's been in his for 20. You've owned yours for quite a while too, right? Yep, we're years. staying way past the average. And, um, you know, people aren't moving. So things aren't happening. Now that's that's good for people building apartment complexes, but it sure isn't good for people wanting to buy houses. So well, Omaha kind of expanded, and then, I mean, where else where else to go? The, yeah. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, and then if you do want to go someplace, I mean, a new build is, man, I can go over all those numbers like, like well, crazy. Well, you alluded to it earlier. Well, it was a great place to live. It is great. And you, you're alluding to that now. Folks are in their home. They're happy with their home. They're newer homes, relatively newer homes. Even though yeah. 10 years, they're staying longer, but, but they want to stay where they're at. They want to stay where they're at. And um, that's kind of the benefit. So if you're, you're coming to Omaha, that's, I mean, we've got a lot of good stuff here. And especially this Wahoo, I mean, uh, Wahoo, not Wahoo whiskey. You know what? That's what happens when I, when I do so many of these. But the Lucky Bucket um, beer, I love the Prohibition. Um, you, you don't want to drink too many of these people. Uh, I did do that one time with uh, someone. That was another local brewing company. Yeah. It's only 4% alcohol. You Lucky fine. Bucket. Well. It'd be good. It's very good. It's real good. It's got a little caramel taste to it. A little caramel. What do you say? Caramel or caramel? Well, is it caramel or caramel? I, I guess it depends on the... Which one do you do? I say caramel. I do we have to rewind the tape and caramel. see what I just said. I think I said caramel, but sometimes I say caramel. Hey. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, it's got a little bit of that taste to it. Yeah. It's got well, a, a good color. I'm going to... I'm just going to tell you right now, the... Uh, this is 100% malted barley with a perfect amount of hops. Okay. This pre-prohibit. You know why they? You know why they call it pre-prohibition? Um, it was before prohibition. Well, okay, that's true. But okay. You know. You know what they did is they made it out of rice and corn, back in the day, and there's a higher alcohol content. That's why they call it pre-prohibition. Uh, got it. So it didn't spoil back in the day. But this is barley, though. Hey, man, I, I'm just telling you, malted barley with a perfect amount of hops. Well, I, the I higher barley the is, and barley's cholesterol free, so that's good. That's good. Well, that <laughs> makes, <laughs> yeah, okay. That's the most flavorful lager this side of the Mississippi. All right. We're on the west side, west so that's side good. West side of the Mississippi. Yeah. That encompasses hmm. a lot. Yeah, it does. What do you give this? A, you know, a score of one to one to ten. What do you What do you give this lager? Are you you're Are you a beer guy? You're a vodka and a what are you? What you know, do you think I go you're... in phases. I like beer. Um, I, I used to drink more uh, darker lagers when I was younger. Now they kind of fill me up a little faster. Because you're a runner and you're here. Yeah. Well, it just fills me up. I'm older. So, uh, but yeah, I, I like this quite a bit. And in, in, in my younger days, I would have drank several of these at yeah. a time. Yeah. All right, scale one to ten. What, what do you give this? Because what this I do one, is I have a nice little score. I give this score one a good 8.5. This 8.5? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's real good. I, you know what? I'm going to give it an 8.5 also. I always like to see what everybody else says, but 8.5, I, you know, that's nice. I mean, if you can see that through the light. I wonder if they have this face. at the shop. We could go down and get it on tap, taste the difference. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to do that. We should zip down We could there. do that. Yeah. That's going to be my next plan is take this on the road take a little bit. Take this on the road. We're going we're gonna to go, yeah. Sips and tips on the road. Sips and tips on the road. All right. Yeah. All right, well, you got anything else uh, interesting? I, I, again, you know, uh, I appreciate you showing up and chit-chatting with me about, you know, just in general. Well, we talked a little bit um, beforehand about uh, usage-based auto insurance, which oh, yeah, is still shoot, probably yeah, eight, yeah. To, eight to 12 months away, at least on the American family side. And uh, I can't speak exactly how it's going to happen, but basically usage-based insurance is where you're going to pay for the actual use of your vehicle. Uh, and the amount of miles you drive, the speed you drive, um, distracted driving. So what you'll probably end up happening is uh, you'll probably end up paying six months premium on your auto insurance like you do now. You'll have a phone app that tracks all your driving habits. And after that, you know, most folks say, oh, I'm such a good driver. I rarely go anywhere. You know, I'm such a safe driver. I'm never on my phone. Well, when you use usage-based insurance, all that's going to track that. And then you'll actually pay oh, okay. for how you are driving and the mileage you're actually doing and the time of day you're driving. That's my guess and all that. So, I'm so hoping you pay. Uh, you think that's 
Hey, you use it, then you pay for it. You pay for what you use. What I think I think is probably going to be optional. You choose what you want. Do you want to continue to pay premiums as they are, or do you want to go ahead and uh, select the usage-based program? Oh, and I got you. That way, okay. um, instead of just telling your agent, "Hey, I'm, I drive less than X number of miles a year," it actually tracks you what you've done, what you've done over a period of five months, and it rates your next six months premium based on your past usage. Uh, you know, insurance uses a lot of predictive models to determine premium. So can't speak 100%, but that is on the horizon, and that was something you'd ask me to, sh- uh, to yeah, share. That's, yeah. yeah, yeah, I remember. So I think Thanks for catching cool me on that. You know, yes. I'm just so, you know, so busy, um, you know, hanging out, looking at uh, basketball, you know, brackets. Yeah, who did you pick? KU. KU, of course. I pick KU every year. The years that I don't the pick year. them, they're, they're the one that when they win. But you so picked I did them, it so this I, time. I probably won't pick them then. I haven't looked at the brackets too much. I know Houston's the favorite, but I got to thinking, you know what? This is the 40th anniversary year of NC State upsetting Houston Cougars, five slam a jam in 1983. Yeah, all right. And I thought, you know what? I bet the Houston Cougar fans are ready to put that doggone video to rest, and maybe this is the year Houston okay. just does it. You know what? When this airs. It's not going to air Friday, but you know what? If it airs the next Friday, guess what? Hopefully they're not Hopefully upset. Hopefully they're the not upset. I know. I know. If they are, feel free to uh, contact him. I'll put his name up at the at the end here again with the American Family Insurance. I have not uh, watched a single basketball game all year, so I have no idea what I'm talking That's about. That's going to be great. But- if you like irony, I thought twenty. I thought forty years. I mean, there's nothing better that can happen from I mean, this. And that's the greatest ending, in my opinion, of a basketball game in history. What was his name? Was that Jim Valvano? That was Jim Valvano. Jimmy V Jim, running Jimmy around. V. Lin, Lorenzo yeah. Charles with the slam dunk. Yeah, the that's right. Okay. The cardiac kids. The good they times. They only made the tournament because they won the ACC tournament that's right. to get into the tournament. Oh and man. And they probably only won the ACC tournament because they. The ACC implemented a trial three-point line that year, and they used it in their tournament, and uh, NC State killed it on the three-point, if I remember correctly. Look at you. You're just a sh- – I know. I watched a lot of basketball. That came up out of the – that that came that up out of the book. We haven't even sponta- – We there's no – We spontaneous combusted that There's one. no – you know, what do you call the little thing? There's no cue cards. There's no cue cards or nothing. Any sort of uh, We're just in here. The guy leaves us. We just sit here and we sip these brews. So we just sit bruised and, mm-hmm. and spout useless, probably unfactual 1980s best well, trivia. You know, we we did talk about some important things for people, you yes. know, uh, that are coming up, and you know, at least people if they're listening to this, will say, "Geez, there's okay, there's new insurance things happening," and and you know, maybe if uh, their insurance company doesn't have it, at least they know yeah. you do. Exactly. Um, and if you're looking to uh, sell your home because uh, you've lived in your home for longer than 15 years, 18 years, you need to sell, I uh, hope you give me a call. I appreciate it. Yeah. So. Um, one thing I'll also add, um, if this is going to air before then, uh, April 20th is the Miller Business Oh, yeah, Expo, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, I, this will. I will have a booth there. I don't know if you're going to have a booth oh, okay. or not. But uh, everyone listening, you should check out the Miller Business Association Expo. It's actually at the old Oakview Mall. Now that they have plenty of space, and uh, I think it's going to be a pretty cool event. They're going to have bands and they're going to have music and that's what they all were kinds saying. of crazy. They're going to have a. Not, they're not allowed to bring a live horse in, but they're going to have a life size Trojan horse. <laughs> they did. Uh, well, that's what they said when we have at that yeah. meeting, right? I right. mean, they said, "Hey, listen, this is what's going to happen." So yeah, again, April twentieth. Uh, go to Oakview Mall, and that what when does that start again? That's I think like that an all day type of deal. It's like a noon to five. Noon to five. Noon you to go in there; it's like going to be that. packed. It's going to be a great place to see a lot of local businesses, folks. A lot of local business here in the Omaha area. So if you're if you're listening, you live in a neighborhood, you're like, hey, I don't know where to go for that. Hey, they're going to have roofers there, insurance people. I'm sure there's real you said estate roofers, agents. Not roofies. No roofies. Just roofers. roofers. Got it. Okay. Uh, roofers? Roofers. Do you say roofers or roofers? You know, I used to say roofers when I moved here, and now I say roofers. Roofers. <laughs> that I don't that know seems to be a... the trend. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. <laughs> roofers. Uh, geez, what else they got in there? I mean, you've got every kind of thing. Name some things so we can promote the NBA uh, a little yeah, bit on that. I don't know who that. signed up for the expo, but, yeah, everyone that's in the business. It should be big. You're going to have lots of vendors. Uh I imagine there'll be a couple of restaurants in there. Finance people, local restaurants. I'm not sure if Vino Moss is going to be there or not. 
But, okay. Yeah. yeah, and you're going to be with me. Um, we're definitely going to share that. So if you, if you're, uh, if you're watching this, hopefully we maybe I'll have this show before April fifth. But Adrian's going to be here with uh, Deanna Albertson from Vino Moss. We're going to do a wine tasting here of some fantastic uh, wines, and and Deanna's real great at, you know, yeah. she she knows her stuff. I mean, she'll talk a about it nonstop wine she oh, yeah. knows it oh, well yeah. she knows liquor she knows all that stuff she's got she's got a good knowledge base she's terrific on wine anything you like she can help steer you towards something similar yeah, yeah especially terrific. for the easter holiday so if, uh, if that's something that you do you're looking for pairings and things like that we're going to try some uh, wine on um i think april i think it's probably be april 9th that's when is it it easter oh i don't know when probably easter april 7th year. Be April 7th. We'll get that Friday out okay. April 7th. So I'm going to have to release this a little bit early. Okay. So who's we can up, get that Who's going. up on your next podcast? Uh, you know what I got? Uh, my next one, I've got uh, Black Dog IT Solutions. Oh, Todd Gillespie. I've got Todd Gillespie. Right. I've got, um, you know, some great people. You know, if you, if you don't know anything about computers or things like that, um, IT stuff, this this guy is going to be the one you need to talk to. Yeah, I don't know what we're drinking with him. He can help you with, with your business needs. He Biz. can help you residential. Yeah. Going to, if you need to wire your your uh, your house for, for various things, this, Sonos, I believe, uh, all the I'm, computer work. Yeah. I mean, he does all kinds of he that stuff. He does all the IT work. Yeah, he does all that stuff. So um, he'll be here. I've got um, – I've got um, – Financial people come in. All right. I've got uh, uh, in-home care people. I've got um, Simple Senior Solutions okay. in the future. So um, all that stuff's, yeah, all that stuff's scheduled out. So okay. these, these are going to be good uh, good topics for people. And, again, local, accessible people. Um, drinking local, accessible drinks, um, distilled wines, beers, distilled, you know, so yeah. it's, it's going to be fun. It's, it'll be good. So um, please tune in. Again, subscribe at the bottom of this page. I'd love to hear any comments. Um, if you're watching this on Facebook or anything, did, did you know, just real quick, now I'm saying this, you can you can check out this podcast on, on Amazon Podcasts. And um, shoot, you got Amazon Podcast And what's, what's some of those other ones I got? Stitcher? Stitcher? No, sti- is it Stitcher? Well, Spotify, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, We're on you can, Stitcher? yeah, yeah. Impressive. If not, I'm gonna go. Right. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> I'm gonna go out. get it on there. All right. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So we're on that Amazon. We're on um, Spotify. So check it out. Yeah, yeah. We do a lot of rambling, but that's okay. It, it's it's fun. We love people. We love the local uh, flair we got going here in Omaha yeah, Metro. Yeah. Uh, so so get busy and do it. Love to see your comments. Again, I'm Sean Lee with Nebraska Realty. Thanks for tuning in, and and uh, have a great week. Thanks, Sean, Thanks for having me. Have a great week. Thanks, everyone.